Hi friends, welcome to the next part of uh, tutorial on cPanel. Okay, in the last tutorial, last part you have seen like we are looking at the email accounts. Okay, so we have created an email account. We have set up the forwarders, and you can also create auto responders. Okay, so for creating auto responders, you can click on auto responder, add an auto responder. What is auto auto responder? Is like if someone sends you a mail, okay. He will receive a mail automatically. You don't need to answer him. Like something, if someone sends you a mail, you can you can you know set up an auto responder. Like okay, we'll revert back to you in 24 hours, or maybe some other thing which you want to tell that person who sent the mail. Okay, so that you can set up here. Okay, on what email ID you want to set it up. Okay, from the the name by which you are sending you want this mail to be sent. Okay, subject of the email and the body of the email. Once you do that, you can. Create this, create and modify. Okay, create or modify, and this will be auto responder will be created. Okay, so if anyone sends you the mail on that particular email ID, he, that person will get the auto respond. Okay, uh, like some more options here which might be of your use will be like okay, default addresses. Okay, so send all unrooted mail to the following address. Okay, so if there is any mail sent to like uh, xxx at the rate uh, your domain name dot com. Okay, so like uh, we have created an email ID uh, admin at the rate admin at the rate uh, my uh, sorry admin at the rate abcd.com okay now if i someone send the mail to admin add me at the rate abcd.com by mistake okay so then what will happen so then this mail has to go somewhere right so this mail will be catched by this process okay so send all unrooted email to the following for the fo for the following domain for the following domain okay to this email id okay so any mail which will be sent to this particular uh, extension email that will be sent to directly to this particular email id okay so you won't miss any mail even if a person even if a person misspell the email id okay and then you have other options like which might not you might not be using okay in a general scenario these are some advanced things okay so we'll come to them in advanced tutorial sections okay next you have sun marketing tool so these are certain tools provided by the uh, hosting service provider okay so they may vary as per the hosting service provider okay so next you have this uh, file section so this is going to be similar in by all the service providers so here we have like backup backup wizard file manager legacy file manager disk space users and all these things okay so i will take up uh, this backups okay so in backups you will see like if you create a backup for your website those backups you will be able to see here if you have created any backup okay so you will get also get an option to upload a home directory back download a home directory backup home directory backup means the web, uh, backup of the whole website okay so for get doing this here you have to create a backup okay so for this you can you have this backup wizard in this backup wizard you can create backup of your website okay so once you come up here you have to say there are two options restore and backup so if you click on backup okay you will be seeing these things like home directory mysql databases and email forwarders and filters okay so if you click on home directory you will be able to make a backup of your home directory so public html folder in the whole okay so once you click over it download so you'll be able to download this once you download it, it will be you can save it in your uh, hard disk and okay. in future you can use it to restore your website okay similarly you can download your mysql databases okay so if you have any database here you will be able to click the database here and it will be downloaded as you are downloading the files okay similarly your email forwarders and filters okay so if you have created any forwarders or email filter those you will be able to download okay so these things you can keep in your hard disk and it uh, you can uh, whenever you need you can restore it from here okay next you will see in the next tutorial okay bye